Look at me. I'm down on my knees. Oh, get up. It reminds me you're crafting. <laughs> Look, honey, you and I are going to be all right. They're all, we love each other. We're going to get married. I don't believe you anymore. Look, honey, you'll feel better tomorrow. Come on, honey, cheer up. Let's see that old smile. That's my girl. See you tomorrow. It says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration may react with psychosomatic symptoms, difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. In other words, just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold, a person can develop a cold. You can spray her wherever you figure the strapped it cock guy loink. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. If she's tired of getting a fish eye from the hotel cloink, a person can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense, shows that you're wrong. Organic syndromes, toxic or hypertense, in moving the eye, the ear, the nose, and the throat. In other words, just from wondering whether the wedding is on or off, a place that can develop a pop. <coughs> you can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the promo phase. But the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself and the name ain't his, a person can develop a pop. Then find it more, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip. A person can develop a grip. Well, they get on the train to Niagara and she can hear church bells chime. But the pertinent is they are conditioned and the mood is sublime. Then they get off at Saratoga for the 14th time. A poison can develop a grip. Oh, a grip. A lot of clothes and days will trip. With the wheezes and the sneezes and the sinus that's really a pip. <laughs> a lack of community property and a feeling she's getting too old. A poison 